Okay, so let's back up a little bit and discuss transformers now. So the transformer is going to take the raw vent that's coming from the gateway and process it into what's needed for the downstream tool. There are two types of transformers though. There's user transformers, which are custom transformers built by our customers to modify their data as needed. And then there's the default transformer, which is what Rudderstack manages to get that data into its proper downstream uh, format. So user transformations are nothing more than JavaScript functions that uh, process JSON objects. So every event coming into Rudderstack is a JSON object and the, tr the custom transformers can be used to do anything you can do in JavaScript to those events as long as we're returning a proper JSON object of an event back. So that's going to allow us to do a number of things. We can uh, use a third-party API if we want to from within the transformer to enrich that uh, event data. We can whitelist certain traits so that, for example, for Salesforce, if we're sending in, if we're collecting custom fields on this event that don't exist in Salesforce, the event to Salesforce will fail because that custom field doesn't exist on Salesforce. We can also filter specific events. So again, for Salesforce, we get charged per API call, and so we only want to send these high-value uh, events where we, where we want to create leads in Salesforce to the downstream tool. So we'll filter specific events to go to Salesforce that might not go to Amplitude or Google Analytics or to Snowflake. We can also mask and remove specific traits from these, from these events in the transformer. So if we want to mask something like um, PII for Google Analytics or, again, whitelisting traits for Salesforce, we can do that from within a transformation. 